In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the equation of the tangent line. So let's say if you're given an equation, y is equal to, let's say, 3x to the fourth minus 5x cubed plus 6x plus 8. And you want to find the equation of the tangent line at x equal 1. Now, there's two things that you need. You need the value of x, the value of y, and you need the slope. We already have the value of x. It's 1. To find the value of y, we need to plug in 1 into our original equation. To find the slope, we need to plug in 1 for x into the derivative equation. So, let's begin. Let's plug in 1 first. So y is equal to 3 minus 5 plus 6 plus 8. 1 to the 4th is 1, 1 to the 3rd is 1. 3 minus 5 is negative 2, add that to 6, that's 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. I believe I did my math correctly. So now that we have that, so we have the point 1 comma 12. So let's go ahead and find the first derivative. So y prime is equal to 3 times the derivative of x to the fourth, which is 4x cubed. Um, what you got to do is you move the 4 to the front, and then you subtract 4 by 1, you get 3. Um, plus, or minus, rather, the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared. The derivative of x is just 1, and for any constant like 8, it's 0. So therefore, y prime is equal to 12 x cubed minus 15x squared plus 6. So now, if we plug in 1, we're going to get the slope of the tangent line. So let's plug in 1. This is going to be 12 minus 15 plus 6. 12 minus 15 is negative 3. If we add that to 6, then that's plus 3. So that's the slope. So let me continue this on the next page. So now that we have the slope, which is 3, and the point 1 comma 12, we can now find the equation of the tangent line. And we're going to use this equation, the point slope form. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. You can also use y equals mx plus b. And um, maybe you prefer to use that equation. But we'll try it both ways, and we'll see how we'll get the same answer. So this is going to be x1, this is y1. So y minus y1, which is 12, is equal to the slope, which is 3, times x minus x1, which is 1. That's the equation of the tangent line in point-slope form. Now, if you want to find it in slope-intercept form, let's distribute the 3. So it's going to be 3x minus 3. And then let's add 12 to both sides. So negative 3 plus 12, that's uh, this equation. This is the answer in slope-intercept form. Now, we can get the same equation if we use uh, this one right here. So let's plug in y as 12. The slope is 3. x is 1. Let's solve for b. So if we subtract 3 from both sides, we can see that b is equal to 9. 12 minus 3 is 9. Now, to get the equation, plug in everything except x and y. So the slope is 3, and b is 9. And so as you can see, we get the same answer. So it really depends on which equation that you prefer to use. Um, but let's try another example. Try this one. Let's say if y is equal to 2x to the third minus 6x squared plus 5x plus 1. And you want to find the, you want to write the equation of the tangent line at x equals 2. So feel free to pause the video and try this problem yourself. So first, let's plug in 2 for x. So 2 times 2 to the third minus 6 times 2 squared plus 5 times 2 plus 1. 2 to the third is 8 times 2 is 16. 2 squared is 4. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1. So here we have 16 minus 24 plus 10 and 1 is 11. 16 minus 24 is negative 8, plus 11, that's 3. So we have the point 2, comma 3. 
So now we need to find the first derivative. The derivative of 2x to the third is 6x squared. Um, and the derivative of 6x squared is 12x and then plus 5. And so now let's plug in the x value, which is 2. So 6 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 plus 5. 2 squared is 4 times 6, that's 24. 12 and 2 is 24, so those cancel. So the slope is 5. So we have the point 2 comma 3, and the slope is 5. Let's use the point slope equation. y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. So y minus 3 is equal to 5x minus 2. Let's distribute the 5. So it's 5x minus 10. And then let's add 3 to both sides. Negative 10 plus 3 is about negative 7. So this is the equation of the tangent line. Um, at the point x equals 2 uh, for the graph that we had. But now let's say if you get a problem that looks like this. Let's say you have x squared plus 3xy plus y to the third is equal to, let's say, um, Let me think about this. Let me choose the right number. I have to make sure the number I choose works. Fifteen. And you want to find the equation of the tangent line at x equals one. How would you do it? Now, the steps are the same. We need to find the value of y. We've got to plug in 1 for x, solve for y. Then we've got to find the first derivative and probably plug in x and y this time, and then write the equation of the tangent line. The concept is the same. It's just the problem is a little bit harder than the other ones that we've considered. But hey, try this problem. Give it a shot. Pause the video. See if you can figure out the answer. But let's go ahead and get started. Let's find the value of y first. So let's plug in 1 for x. So 1 squared plus 3 times 1 times y plus y cubed is 15. So therefore, we have 1 plus 3y plus y cubed is equal to 15. And that might be tough to solve. So y cubed plus 3y, therefore, is equal to 14. So y to the third plus 3y minus 14 is equal to 0. So how can we solve for y in a situation like this? We really can't factor it. We have a cubic function. So what can we do in this instance? In a situation like this, you can probably use a graphing calculator, plot this function, see where it touches the x-axis. That's number one. Number two, you can use Newton's method which might take a while. Number three, you can plug in points and see which one works, which I think is probably the best thing to do right now. We're going to plug in a value for y into this equation, and we're, we're going to see which one is going to give us 14. So let's pick a number. Let's say if we plug in negative 1 for y. Negative 1 to the third is negative 1, plus 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. That's negative 4. That doesn't work. If we plug in 0, that's not going to work either. If we plug in 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. If we plug in 2, 2 to the third is 8. 3 times 2 is 6. That adds up to 14. So in this example, y is 2. Now, if you get a problem like this, chances are there's going to be some way you can solve it. If not, use a graphing calculator. Okay, so let me rewrite what we have. It was x squared plus 3xy plus y cubed equals 15, I believe. And we have the point 1 comma 2. So now let's go ahead and find the first derivative, which is 2x plus... Now we need to use the product rule to differentiate 3xy. This is basically implicit differentiation. This is the first part, and this is going to be the second part. To use the product rule, differentiate the first part. 
the derivative of 3x is 3, and then keep the second part the same, so times y. And then, keep the first part the same, 3x, differentiate the second part, the derivative of y is 1, but times dy dx. Anytime you differentiate a y, you have to add dy dx. When we, so the derivative of y cubed is 3y squared, and then times dy dx as well, and for a constant is 0. So we got to find out what dy dx is. So we need to plug in 1 for x, 2 for y, and solve for dy dx, which is the same as y prime. So this is 2 plus 3 times 2 plus 3 times 1 times y prime plus 3 times 2 squared y prime equals 0. So 6 and 2 is 8. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. So we can add 3 y prime and 12 y prime, which is 15 y prime. And if we solve for y prime, it's negative 8 over 15. So that is our slope. So our slope at the point 1 comma 2 is negative 8 over 15. So with this information, we can now find the equation of the tangent line. So y minus 2 is equal to the slope, negative 8 over 15 times x minus 1. So let's go ahead and distribute the uh, 8 over 15. So it's negative 8 over 15 plus 8 over 15. And then let's add 2 to both sides. So it's going to be positive 2 on the right. But to add 2 to 8 over 15, we need to get common denominators. 30 over 15 is the same as 2. So basically what I did is I took 2, I multiplied top and bottom by 15. And that's how you get 30 over 15. So now that the denominators are identical, we can add uh, the numerators. So the final answer for the equation of the tangent line in slope-intercept form is it's 38 divided by 15 plus the negative 8 over 15 times x. So that's it. That's how you can find it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.